So, Richard James, mm. if I asked you the name of the most popular, most successful, I mean commercially successful puppet show ever made in the UK, connected to, the, to ITC and handled by Lord Lou Grade, what oh. TV show would you say that was? It's time to meet the Muppets. It's time to light the lights. <laughs> hey? No? Yeah, well, I was expecting you to say Thunderbirds, you see, but actually you're right. It is. It was not oh, any Thunderbirds. Of... No, oh, no, this is the Jerry Anderson podcast. Yeah, I see it, it now. Is. Ah. But no, but it, 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 that's what I was hoping you'd say, but you've not played along and in fact you've, you know, ruined the whole thing. <coughs> uh, but that's fine. So you might think it was one of the Supermarination shows, probably Thunderbirds, but it was not. Uh, yes. It was, in fact, right. The Muppet Show that ran from 76 to 81. Now, you may be thinking, hang on, The Muppet Show was uh, American, wasn't it? Ah, you see. Well, American origins, but it was yes. made in the UK at Elstree Studios. Mm -hmm. uh, also the home of, uh, of course, uh, UFO's uh, Shadow HQ, the, uh, the yeah. frontage there from uh, Neptune House at Elstree. Mm -hmm. And where Indeed. we've been, Richard, for uh, the um, ITC at Elstree event. Oh, yes, that's right. Where I've been for countless casualty commercial uh, auditions, which are, <laughs> like, none, of, none of which I got. <laughs> countless casualty visits uh, yes. after accidents around the home. <laughs> that's uh, right. So, no, The Muppets was made at Elstree Studios and was one of many, many, many shows that reused old Anderson props. So you can ah. see quite a few UFO computer consoles in the Muppet Labs and Pigs in Space sketches, for instance. Oh, great. So, in fact, there is an instance where John Cleese appears on Pigs in Space. Oh, yes. And uh, wields a sword and strikes a prop that still has the words Moonbase Alpha Portable Nuclear Generator stuck on it. Oh, nice. Now, can we just say we do not recommend striking nuclear generators with swords? That's just, yeah, <laughs> it should be a given, but, you know, you have to be careful these days. <laughs> yeah, yeah, anyway, true. Look, Disclaimer. I know we normally talk about props quite a lot, hmm. but we're not talking props today. We are, oh. of course, talking Muppets. Uh, Richard, who is your favourite Muppet? My favourite Muppet? Well, a lot of people think I look a bit like uh, uh, Sam the Eagle. <laughs> yeah, and I, I can see that. Okay, nice. Yeah, uh, I can see but that. My favourite, I think, has to be either the Swedish chef. Yes. Uh, or Beaker. Beaker's a great choice. I'd go yes. for Beaker, you see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, but not everybody would say that. Some people would say animal. In fact, a lot of people do say animal. Yeah. He was the drummer with the electric mayhem band. Mm -hmm. Now, amazingly enough, Richard, animal, actual animal himself, yeah. can be heard inside the Jerry Anderson universe. Kind of. Right. Go on. Now, I don't want to ruin anyone's childhood here, but it's a little secret. Animal, the puppet, couldn't yeah. actually play the drums. Sorry. Oh. So he was on. actually miming to pre-recorded tracks performed by a drummer named Ronnie Verrill. Okay. Now, Ronnie was quite a famous drummer at the time, and his list of credits is far too long to even touch on here. He was, but he was a bit of a, a legend in the jazz drumming scene of the 50s on and onwards. Mm. Uh, he played in several big bands and orchestras and lots of session work for artists like uh, Tom Jones, Shirley Bassey, Tony Bennett. Uh, the list goes on. Anyway, lots yeah, and lots great. of famous musicians. But he also has an Anderson connection. Because before he became Animal, uh, or the drums that Animal mimed to, he was also a regular drummer for... Barry Gray. <laughs> Love these I feel connections. Like we've just gone on a long, long journey. We have, and we have yet to really arrive. Oh. No, no. So he, he drummed for Barry Gray mm -hmm. in Stingray, Thunderbirds, right. Thunderbirds Argo, Captain Scarlet, mm -hmm. Joe 90, The Secret Service, and even UFO. So bringing us back to Elstree again. Uh, hello? Oh, sorry. <laughs> Great. You still got nice. me here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just checking, just checking. Yes, uh, I have, yes. Good. Sorry, just just dropped out a moment. Fine. But not only did Ronnie work with Barry Gray, but Derek Wadsworth yeah. also hired Ronnie for Space 1999 Season 2. Oh, great. Love it. <laughs> so yeah, Derek, nice. Derek was interviewed and asked about Ronnie, and he later recalled that Ronnie definitely played on the main titles of Space 1999 uh -huh. Season 2. Mm -hmm. So there you go. Animal played the drums on Space 1999 Series 2 <laughs> and a load of other uh, Jerry Anderson uh, bits of music. 